Good day everyone. Welcome to Learn with MN. In this video, we will talk about Node Tool. The tool here, after the selection tool, is the Node Tool. You can also select it via the shortcut key N. This tool is used to edit paths. Select it, then click on the path you want to edit, and all the paths nodes become visible. Just left click on any node, hold, and drag to move it anywhere. Let's discuss how you can edit nodes in Inkscape. Before moving to the node tool tutorial, we recommend you watch our tutorial on paths, its link is in the description. You will learn about different nodes terminologies, different types of nodes, and handles of nodes there. It will help you to understand this tutorial easily. First, select the path you want to edit to show its nodes. Let's discuss different ways of selecting the nodes. To select a single node, just click it, and it will be selected. You can select any node here by simply clicking it. Similarly, you can move the handles of any node to edit the path using the node tool. For multiple node selection, there are different ways. Like, with the shift key, you can add or subtract any node to selection. Another way to select multiple nodes is by clicking and dragging them over. All those nodes that lie inside the box will be selected. You can also select the nodes using the keyboard. The tab key selects the first node of the path. Pressing the tab key again selects the next node, and shift tab selects the previous node. Press the escape key to deselect the selection or click outside the path to cancel it at any time. Control A is used to select all nodes. To invert the selection, press Shift 1. You can move the selected nodes using the mouse and arrow keys. Let's discuss some key combinations for moving nodes with a mouse. Control is used to move the selected nodes in either horizontal or vertical directions. Holding the shift key temporarily disables the snapping, if snapping for nodes is enabled. Without shift, it will snap like this. Let's also discuss the handles of nodes. With control, you can rotate the handles by snap angle. By default, its value is 15 degrees, but you can change it in the preferences. The handles of corner nodes work separately. If you want to move them together, then hold the shift key, and it will move both handles together, like this. With the ALT key, you can rotate the handle in any direction, but the length of the handle remains the same. Let's discuss its different options in the control bar. This is used to insert a new node on a selected segment. A segment is a path between two nodes. Like this is a segment between these two nodes, this is a segment between these two nodes, and so on. To select a segment, just click on it, or select its end nodes. Now, clicking this option will add a node in the center of the segment. You can then move it and edit it as per your requirement. You can also insert a node on any path location you like. For example, I want to add a node here at this snapping point. There are two ways. Double-clicking on the path, or clicking the path once with Ctrl-Alt. I recommend using Ctrl-Alt because it is easier and more accurate while double-clicking sometimes does not place the node at the accurate location. Next, is to delete the selected node. Like, if I select these two nodes and click this, it will delete the nodes. You can also use Delete or Backspace key for the same action. While deleting, you may have noticed that the handles of adjacent nodes are changed. It is because, when you delete a node, the path tries to maintain its original shape, hence it changes the node's handles. If you want handles to not change their position, then use Control with the Delete or Backspace key. Now, the position of the handle is not changed. Next, is to join selected nodes. For example, I have this compound path, but they are not joined. So, I will select these nodes, and click the Join Nodes option here. You can also use the shortcut key shift J. Both separate paths are joined now. You can also join two separate paths with each other. For example, these two are separate paths. First, select both paths. Now, select the nodes you want to join and click on the join nodes option. 
Both paths are now joined. The next option is the opposite to join. It breaks the path from selected nodes. For example, I want to break this path from this node. So, select it and click the Break Path option here. You can also use the shortcut key Shift B. Now the path is broken, and the selected node is converted into two end nodes, one for this segment and the other for this segment. But why can't we see both? It's because one is beneath the other. When you move it, now you will see both end nodes. You can also select multiple nodes and break them at the same time, like this. Next is also a join, but it is different from the previous one. This option joins the end nodes of a path with a new segment. Let's take this as an example. If I select these end nodes and click this join option, they are joined by a new segment. Now, remember that in this option, you can only join the end nodes of a path with each other, whether the nodes are of a compound path or two different paths. It will not join these two nodes with a segment. This option is used to delete the segment between the selected nodes and break the path. Now, here is the main difference between deleting nodes and deleting the segment between the nodes. Deleting nodes deletes the nodes but does not break the path, while deleting the segment between selected nodes deletes the segment and breaks the path, making the selected nodes the end nodes of their respective paths, like this. There are four types of nodes. All four types are discussed in the paths video. You can change the selected nodes to any other type using these options. This is for a corner, this is to make a node smooth, this is to make nodes symmetric, and this is to make a node auto-smooth. Next are these two options. This option is used to convert the curved selected segment into a straight line. For example, we want these two curves to be straight lines. Then select both segments and click this option. Both curves are now converted to straight lines. The next option is opposite to the previous one. It allows you to convert a straight line into a curve. It does not convert a straight line into a curve directly, rather, it adds handles to selected segment nodes. Using these handles, you can make it curve easily. You can also convert any straight segment into a curve using the mouse. Just left-click, hold, and drag the segment from any location, and the curve will be formed like this. In Inkscape, we have five different geometric shape tools. Each shape has its default nodes, which can be edited using the node tool. But if you want more control over the shape, then you can convert it into a path using this option. Just select the shape and click it, and your shape is now converted into a path. Now, you can alter it as per your requirement. Similarly, you can also convert a stroke into a path. It can be a shaped stroke or an independent single line path like this. To do that, this option is used. Just select it and click it here. Now, your stroke is converted into a path. Remember that both processes of converting into a path are irreversible. After conversion, you cannot edit the shape using its respective shape tool. Similarly, by converting a stroke to a path, you cannot edit it as a stroke, it is now converted to a fill. What you can do is add a new stroke to it, like this. These show the position of the selected node for X and Y coordinates as per the selected units. You can also give a custom value to place any node at a certain position. Next two options are used to show or hide the clipping path or mask of selected objects if they have it. For example, this is an example of a clipping path. When selected, its path nodes are not shown, but if you enable it here, then they are visible now. Similarly, for this mask example, editing nodes are shown. But when disabled, nothing is shown. It helps you to edit them later easily, otherwise, disabling it helps to keep editing less crowded. Normally, when a path is selected, it can be transformed as a whole using the selection tool. But what if you want to transform only selected nodes of a path, not the whole path? To do so, this option is used. Using this, you can transform any selected nodes. 
For example, we want to transform these two nodes. So, select these, and click it. You can see it is showing transform handles for selected nodes, just like the selection tool. To open the rotation and skew handles, single-click on any selected node. You can switch between both modes by clicking on a selected node, or you can use a shortcut key Shift H for the same purpose, like this. Sometimes, while editing a complex design with many nodes, we need to move the nodes, but the handles of nodes overlap them. This causes difficulty in editing. So, to avoid that, disable this option. By disabling it, it will hide the handles of all nodes. This option is used to show or hide the path outline. Its color is based on the color of the layer. You can change it to any other, we have made a tutorial on that. You can watch its tutorial on how to do it, its link is in the description. The node tool is very powerful in Inkscape. It gives you the power to handle your design in almost every aspect. We tried to define all its functions, but if you still have any queries, feel free to write in the comment section. For now, that was all for this video. In upcoming videos, we will discuss another tool of Inkscape in detail, so stay tuned. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon, so you don't miss any updates. Thank you for watching.